a tēnā tātou, ko mercy a Dawn Marae Yates tōku ingoa, nō te arua whānui, te wakarā o te arua, nō Ngāti Ranguahi, Ngāti Whakaue, Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere, Ngāti Uenuku Kōpako, o te rā ko Ngāti Te Roro Te Rangi. I taua pātai rā, ko te mea nui ki au, ki a rongo, tō tātou nei reo, ki a rongo i ngā āhuatanga o te karanga, ki a rongo anō hoki i ngā mita o te arua anō hoki o te wako o te arawa. So I've just described how would I like to hear my te arawa tanga i roto i tēnei o ngā whare taonga. And I've just described such things as hearing our bell, hearing our karanga, hearing our mita. Tēnā pea e rereke ana o e te hi mita o te arau wawaka o ngā tipiki au tātou o te rangi wibahi. But yeah, definitely feeling that wairua when I walk in, I want to know that I'm walking into a space that is proudly te arawa. We see our people, we hear our voices. Ka rongoa o te nākau i te wairua o te roa. Once again, by seeing our people represented, hearing our stories, a rā ko wā tātou nei pū rākau o ngā pūmana wai e waru, kia kite anō hoki i ngā whakāhua o wā tātou nei tūpuna, uh, making it relevant to not only our current situation here in Rotorua, but in particular reminiscing of days gone by, Watato Nei Hitori, celebrating our story, celebrating our people, uh, celebrating our heroes and heroines, uh, to see examples of that in our whare taonga. He mea nui tērā kia au. Kia au nei, ko te mea nui kia au, kia rongo te wairua, kwa tae mai te manu hiri e tu ārangi ahara nei, ki tēne wa tata nei whare motu hake. He whare hitori tēnei, he whare pūmanawa tēnei, he whare manaaki tangata tēnei. And within all of that, I spoke of, they need to know that they're coming into a beating heart of te arawa. They need to know that when they're coming into our whare taonga, that they feel special, that they feel connected, albeit not even being from Aotearoa. They can feel a sense of history that resonates through them, um, that they have a special connection, albeit through a whakahua. Um, hearing our people through waiata, uh, reminiscing of, I think, back to the exhibition with um, our Māori Battalion, the very proud B Company. So being able to celebrate uh, the feats that our Māori Battalion went through, I'm sure that any tourist coming to Rotorua, whether they be from afar or from Aotearoa, will feel special in hearing our stories about our people, our places and our culture shared in our way. Uh, I've already mentioned about the importance of celebrating our heroes and our heroines. Uh, Tinoi Maria Tantau, kei reira ke ngā whakāturanga pera i a kai rākau e whakamohio mai ki a tātou a tātou nei pū rākau o nehera. But also to have these stories celebrated. So I've just spoken about a recent, the recent series of Kairako that tell our stories. I think these two need to be celebrated in our whare taonga. Uh, definitely having not only our heroes and heroines of Nehera, but we've also got some recent current people who, whilst they're still alive, need to be celebrated and their stories need to be told. He Māori mai, he Pākea mai anō hoki, he haina mana mai ahara nei. I think I also want to pay tribute to a historian of the past, um, such as Don Stafford, um, because I think in, in his capturing of our history, his telling of the stories about street names. These street names aren't just street names, but I do feel that they are 
Um, they are people, they are people of our past that need also to be acknowledged. So if there is a part within the museum that also talk about the importance of our street names and who they were named after, those are examples which are, are, are definitely present um, as in today that we could utilise um, in educating our tamariki mokopuna. Uh, for me, succession and the succession of our um, local stories, our people, our places, once again, come through how we also connect to our tamariki. Having schools involvement, creating a legacy where our teachers are also educated about our history and our past and our present um, will ensure the good fortune of moving forward with our whare taonga.